Hello students, welcome to our channel Diksha Karnataka. So we have started a series in which we are discussing the most important topics of all the high weightage chapters, right? So we have already completed the solutions chapter and also we have started a series where we will be solving the top 30 questions from these chapters, right? So both the series are, on, uh, are there, so please do watch it. In today's video, we will be uh, discussing about the chapter chemical kinetics, right? So I will be discussing what are the important topics you have to focus in this chapter so that in this less period of time you can cover this chapter effectively and you can crack all the questions coming from this chapter right so okay so let us start so now let us begin with today's chapter chemical kinetics okay. so let us first quickly recap all the topics that are present in this chapter first is rate of chemical reaction here we will discuss what are the types of rate we have Second is factors affecting rate of reaction. In this topic, we will be discussing all the important factors for uh, affecting the rate of the reaction. The third topic is effect of concentration. This is very important topic. We will get numericals from this topic. So we will uh, cover this topic in detail. Okay, next is your integrated rate equation. This is also a very important topic. Here also numericals are asked uh, for first order and zeroth order that we will see in the upcoming slides. Next is effect of temperature, again very important topic, here we will be discussing about the Arrhenius equation. Uh, next topic is effect of catalyst, not very important, uh, two or uh, like one question sometimes is asked from this topic, that also we will see. Next is collision theory, again important topic. So this is a completely theory based questions, we generally get question from this topic, uh, where we will have to choose options, correct statement, wrong statement, such questions are asked from this topic, okay. So now let us start with the first topic that is rate of a chemical reaction. So we have generally two types of rate, one is average rate and one is instantaneous rate. What is average rate? Average rate is where the rate is calculated for a period of time like 10 minutes, 20 minutes for one period of time we calculate the rate that is called average rate. Next is instantaneous rate where we calculate the rate at a particular instant, right? Here we do not have, so what is the difference you can see? Rate here is represented with delta and here we represented with D, okay. So now we will see the graph for this. You can easily see here, this one is a graph for the reactants. You can see the concentration of reactant will decrease with the time and this part, okay, this part represents your instantaneous rate because in this particular time, in this particular time, what is the rate we are calculating? So that is your instantaneous rate. Now again another one is there where we are calculating in the between time period of T1 and T2, right? In this time period, what is the rate we have to calculate? Then it is called average rate, okay? Next one is your concentration of products. We know with time the products concentration will increase. So here also we can calculate two types of rate. One is your instantaneous rate and the average rate. So you see for average rate we have taken selected two time slots. In this period if we calculate that is our average rate. And if you want to calculate at any particular instant of time t, that is your instantaneous rate dp by dt, okay. Now uh, here also I want to discuss one more thing, how to write the differential rate equation. Suppose you have any reaction, it uh, gives you b times of b, then how to write the rate of this one, rate will be equal to minus 1 by a dA by dt will be equal to plus 1 by b db by dt, right? So numericals are asked from this part. So you have to remember or you have to know how to use this formula. So now let us go to the next topic, factors affecting the rate of a reaction. We have three major factors. First is your concentration from where a lot of numericals are asked. So generally when concentration increases, rate increases, okay? Generally, but not always true. Similarly, temperature, here we will discuss about Arrhenius factor. So here also when temperature increases, rate increases for most of the reactions. The third factor is your catalyst and in catalyst we know when catalyst is present, rate of reaction increases. We will discuss how does, what is the mechanism for that. Okay, so now coming to the first factor that is concentration. Very important thing. So what is rate law? In this rate law, what does it say? The rate of any reaction depends on concentration, that equation is called as rate law, okay. You can see the dependency of rate on concentration of reactants is given by rate law, where k is rate constant and n is the order of the reaction. 
from here also we get very simple numericals here questions are asked suppose uh, rate is equal to k into a to the power of 1 first order reaction if concentration is doubled how the rate will change if concentration is halved how the rate will change so such questions are asked from this topic order of the reaction what does it tell us the how the rate will change when the concentration changes means suppose you have doubled the concentration then how many times the rate will increase will the rate be also doubled or the rate will become four times or the rate will become half time so that all depends on the order of the reaction okay next is so that is the definition of order sum of the power of the concentration terms so these are very important uh, uh, terms or the topics from where we'll get numericals next coming to order versus molecularity let us quickly see these points first is it is the sum of the power of the concentration terms it is the total number of reacting species in any elementary step so this has to be experimentally determined it depends on your mechanism so order can be zero positive or negative the elementary uh, molecularity is always positive next order can be fraction or a whole number molecularity has to be a whole number so these type these uh, difference you should remember sometimes you may get statement based questions from this topic okay now let us see the next topic unit of rate constant right so first of all you must remember the general equation for rate constant so here mole to the power of 1 minus n liter to the power of n minus 1 second inverse okay so now i have given you two questions which were asked in the previous year from this topic so now let us quickly see the first question in which one of the following reaction rate constant has unit of mole liter inverse second inverse so for this what you have to do is you have to equate the power of mole here and the with the general equation so if we see here uh, mole unit is 1 minus n and in the question mole unit is 1 so what i'll get n will be equal to 0 so the question is indirectly asking us which of the following is a zeroth order reaction so the answer for this question will be your we all of you know decomposition of HI on the surface of the gold. Okay, now another similar question was asked in the uh, 2021 exam also. For the reaction A plus 2B products, when concentration of B alone is increased, half time half life remains the same. And if the concentration of A is alone is doubled, the uh, rate remains the same. The unit of rate constant will be. So now when B is doubled. Uh, sorry when b is increased the half life remains the same means b should be a first order reaction because it doesn't depend the half life is not changing and for concentration of a if a is double then also the rate remains same so that means a is your zeroth order reaction so what will be my rate law rate will be equal to k into a to the power of 0 and b to the power of 1 so what is the overall order for this reaction order will be equal to 1 so for order 1 what will be the unit if you put 1 for so n will be equal to 1 now so what will be the unit of k k will be equal to mole 1 minus 1 liter 1 minus 1 second inverse so these two will be cancelled so we will have second inverse so answer for this question should be second inverse okay so, so such very easy questions are asked from this topic but you have to remember the general formula uh, now let us quickly uh, go to the next topic that is your integrated rate loss for only you have in your syllabus zeroth order and first order so zeroth order any rate law r is equal to k into a to the power of n for zeroth order n will be equal to 0 so this part will become 1 so r is equal to k that is our rate law now integrated rate law derivation is there but that is not required for your competitive exams so you have just remember a naught minus a is equal to kt what is a naught here initial concentration a is your final concentration and k is your rate constant and t is the time right now so we, we have an example of zeroth order reaction also nh3 when decomposes to give you n2 and h2 that is an example of zero order reaction in ncrt you have two three examples from zeroth order and first order you can uh, memorize that examples also now coming to the first order in first order again if you put here rate is n will be equal to 1 so r will be equal to k into a right so that is my rate law so if we again uh, do this uh, integrated rate law derivation again is not required here we will get this equation kt is equal to 2.303 log a naught by a uh, so what is here k again rate constant t is your time 
2.303 log a naught is the initial concentration and a is your final concentration right so you will get many numericals from these two topics especially first order is very very important you have to remember these two formulas for the numerical part zeroth order is asked but again more important is first order okay now coming to their graph question from graph is not uh, usually asked but you can just see the graph for the both of them uh, for zeroth order it is concentration of r versus time will get a negative slope and if we do first order the graph for log r naught by r versus time will get a positive slope so you can remember the y axis and x axis what has to be taken and when we are getting positive slope and negative slope okay. now coming to the next slide yes this is very very important table please remember this table properly the first is your differential rate law for zeroth order differential rate law for first order then we have dr by dt is equal to minus k dr by dt is equal to minus kr now coming to integrated rate law that we have just discussed now kt is equal to here r is nothing but your r is nothing but your concentration of reactant right so r not minus r and here we have uh, kt is equal to ln of r not by r next coming to st uh, again we have discussed the plot r not r versus t and ln r versus t so this is a straight line with negative slope and this is a straight line with positive slope okay next is half life this is again important r not by 2k for zeroth order and ln 2 by k or you can write 0.693 by k right so this is the half life formula for zeroth order and first order and next we have units of k so units of k here is mole liter inverse second inverse and for first order it is just second inverse or any other unit of time minute inverse or r inverse inverse can also be there based on any time inverse okay so now here also i want to add one more thing what is the general formula of half life t half is proportional to 1 by a to the power of n minus 1 so from questions from this formula is also asked so you can remember what is the general equation for t half okay now coming to the second factor that is your effect of temperature so generally what we have seen when temperature increases by 10 degree the rate constant will double okay so that is the general uh, effect of temperature when we increase the temperature the rate of the reaction doubles now this is your arrhenius equation right so the dependency of temperature on the rate of the reaction is given by one equation called as a arrhenius equation so here we have k is equal to a into e to the power of minus ea by rt so a is arrhenius factor k is rate constant ea is activation energy r is your ga gas constant that is 8.314 joule mole inverse kelvin inverse and then t is temperature similarly if we have arrhenius equation for two different temperatures okay you have two t2 and t1 okay and then we have k2 and k1 then how we can find out generally we are asked to find out activation energy in such questions okay so the formula will be log of k2 by k1 is equal to ea by 2.303 r t2 minus t1 by t2 into t1 so what is k2 rate constant at the temperature t2 k1 is rate constant at temperature t1 ea is activation energy and again gas constant is 8.314 right so numericals are asked from this topic very very important formula you have to note down this formula and remember okay next is your third factor that is your effect of catalyst so catalyst very uh, sometimes one question generally you can expect from this topic what does catalyst do this is important catalyst uh, reduces the activation energy you can see when there was no catalyst this is the activation energy when we added catalyst the activation energy decreases right so this is the question that is generally asked how does a catalyst increase the rate of the reaction that is by decreasing the by decreasing the activation energy right anything else you need not study from this topic this point you have to remember uh, so that's all in this topic so now let us if I, i want to tell what you have to mostly focus on this chapter is so let us make a small list of these topics first order formula zeroth order formula and rate law and one more arrhenius equation right so if you if you master these four topics formulas and uh, our how to apply this formula then most of the questions from chemical kinetics will be solved okay so that's all for this video so this is not a complete summary of the chapter 
this video is just to uh, tell you what all topics in this chapter should not be left or should be revised to crack all the questions of this chapter right so we have discussed all the important topics of this chapter and you can download this pdf in the uh, in the description section the link will be provided okay so now if you have found this video useful and important please like share and subscribe it with your friends so that all will be benefited thank you